Jesus tells three parables that St. Luke records. The first one is the parable of the lost sheep, where Jesus leaves the 99 and goes and searches for the one. The second is the parable of the lost coin, where the woman loses one coin in her house and tears the house apart to find it. The third is the parable of the lost son. The son takes the inheritance from his father while his father is still alive and runs off and squanders it and then comes to his senses and goes back. And the father warmly receives him back into the family again. Jesus tells those parables because the good shepherd, because Jesus always seeks, always searches, always finds, and always restores his lost sheep. We see that in the third article of the Apostles' Creed. Dr. Luther talks about it this way. In the same way, he calls, gathers, enlightens, and sanctifies the whole Christian church on earth through Jesus Christ, our Lord. You see, the Holy Spirit's work is calling, gathering, enlightening. Really, the Holy Spirit's work is getting our attention and pointing us to what Jesus has done and is doing. You see, dear saints, Jesus continues to search. Jesus continues to go looking for the lost. Jesus does never stop. He's always looking, always searching. And when he finds that lost sheep, when he finds you and I lost in our sin, he picks us up. And he restores us. He forgives us. And he celebrates with all the angels in heaven over this lost one that is now found again. When we talk about that in the third article of the Apostles' Creed, we talk about it in the forgiveness of sins. This is a gift that Jesus gives to us that restores us. It doesn't matter how lost we are. It doesn't matter how long we've been lost. Jesus promises that he continues to search, continues to find, continues to restore, and then together we continue to celebrate. The Holy Spirit calls, gathers, and enlightens us so that we see the work of Jesus clearly. He is the one who has found us. He is the one who has forgiven us and continues to seek us. It doesn't matter what you're in. It doesn't matter how great sin's hold on you is. It's not stronger than the one who continues to search for you. It's not stronger than Jesus, who has overcome every enemy, including death itself, that he might restore you, that he might forgive you, that you might live in his peace and quietness, and that you might live in joy. Jesus is always seeking. And the Holy Spirit is always calling, gathering, and enlightening. What do you value? At Concordia University, Nebraska, we value the equipping of church workers for lives of service to both church and world. In a culture where our faith can often be met with derision, our world needs ardent Christian leaders to rise to the helm and steer the next generation of Christ followers into new territory. You have the God-given gifts. We have the tools to uncover and develop them. We are Nebraska's university with values.